Irvish. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak well, to me today. Well, thank you so much for coming down. Great. Now, I know there's some exciting new things going on here at the Planet, including a new managed hosting offering. So, why don't you tell me a bit about how long this has actually been in development for? Sure. I mean, we've been thinking about this for over a year. In fact, wow. you know, we made our first most significant hire around this last summer when we hired a general manager that really came to us from the industry. Mm -hmm. um, and so, he's been steadily building the plan, and most importantly, um, building a team really starting at the beginning of this year. You know, right. we've brought on um, about 18 people. Um, that are focused on, you know, not just developing but providing this service. Great. And in uh, really at the beginning of April, we launched limited availability. Um, and since that time, we've acquired five customers that have been on board that have quite frankly helped us tune and refine our processes and offerings in preparation for our July announcement. Give me a little more detail about the process you've been going through in terms of the beta customers and such. Sure. I mean. You know, we're all really starting, you kind of talk about the sort of the development. It all started with first and foremost a series of advisory councils. Mm -hmm. So about once, or maybe in many cases two times a quarter, we bring in a series of customers. We fly them down to Houston and we spend a day and a half with them nice. talking about what are their concerns, what are their issues, and really what we're doing to make sure that, you know, we're kind of on the same page. Right. And so, you know, as all sort of product management really is, is it is an iterative sort of process where you continue to learn. But that's what really built the plans for our first offering, right? Since that time, you know, working with these betas, you know, we've learned a lot in terms of what their expectations are, where exactly they want to draw the line of roles and responsibilities, and we've been continually refining that into our, our first launch. And so, you know, in July when we launch, you know, we're going to have a, you know, a, a really a field tested offering, right. um, as opposed to one that's kind of just out there. Well, let's get into the nitty gritties about sure. this managed hosting offering called Planet North Star. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me a little more detail on the technical aspects of it? Sure. The Planet North Star offering that we're putting together really has, you know, I'd say three key tenets to it, right? Mm -hmm. The first and foremost is that, you know, we have standardized for the first launch here around Microsoft the Microsoft platform. Which is interesting in itself. Yeah, and I think it really came down to, again, talking to those customers. You know, what they told us is where their most complex management needs are, where they lack the most expertise is on that platform. Right. Right. Secondly, um, it's really around putting together a sort of a fully dedicated team. Right. Um, you know, that you know by name. You know, you're not calling into a call center and seeing who picks up the phone. You're calling Joe, who, you know, who was there with you when we, you know, installed your, 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 your environment. Mm -hmm. He's been there that's been supporting you. Um, he's there doing, you know, monthly and quarterly reviews with you. Um, he's the one that understands your environment. And so the point is that, you know, they can provide, you know, that team can provide rich support for you. Now, it's right. not just Joe, it's a team of Joes, <laughs> right? It's, there's Joe, the, uh, the security engineer. There's Joe, the system um, architect. There's right. Joe, the, the storage and backup engineer. There's Joe, the, um, you know, the technical account manager that's running it all, or the database administrator. Mm -hmm. And all these guys carry the relevant certifications for right. their market, right? And, and so while we picked sort of a given platform, you know, we realized that we couldn't just have a team of, you know, sort of, I would say, you know, lowest common denominator experts, right? right. What we ultimately wanted were experts in their given fields that are uh, essentially on the hook for supporting each customer environment. And then there's the third piece, mm -hmm. right? And the third piece is really about having sort of an advanced service level agreement. Okay. And that really means that, you know, in addition to having a service level agreement that covers network and power, um, we're going to be layering in a service level agreement that includes a one-hour replacement on hardware in the event that there's a hardware failure, as well as a 15-minute response time relative to service tickets. Obviously, you can always pick up the phone and call, but you know, we also know that once you submit a ticket, you're going to get a response from us within 15 minutes. So besides this dedicated team that you've mm -hmm. put together, what have you been preparing support-wise? Sure. And so great support you know, obviously has to be rooted in having great people, mm -hmm. right? And that's a given, right? But you know, great people, as well-intentioned as they might be, you know, typically will uh, you know, you don't want them to make it up as they go along, right. right? And so what we've actually done is we've taken the time to build a full process around this, right? And ultimately, uh, we call that process the anticipation adva advantage methodology. Right. Um, and what we've done is taken a series of best practices from our experience as well as those from industry experts and baked them into a repeatable process so that when a customer comes on board, you know, we, we're doing you know, an assessment with them so that we understand what their priorities are. We're basically building and designing a, a, a solution for them that includes you know, a scalability plan, includes a performance metrics plan, includes a security and compliance plan, mm -hmm. a disaster recovery plan. All those different pieces are, are part of the process so that you know, we don't forget them, right? right. I mean, and, 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 and ultimately, those all get baked into you know, real concrete deliverables that customers can get and they need to sign off on to make sure they're comfortable. And if they're not, mm -hmm. then you know the technical account manager and that dedicated team's on the hook for getting them happy. Right? Right. And those things break into a closed loop process so that we say, okay, this is your scalability plan. 
and it needs to be aligned with your business goals. It says that, okay, I'm launching you know, my new online application. You know, this month I expect to have 100 customers. You know, next month it's 200. The month after that it's 500 or whatever. Mm -hmm. you know, we now have a cooperative, jointly agreed upon plan of how we're going to scale your infrastructure, how we're going to scale your management, how we're going to scale your, your compliance or, or your, uh, your goals around um, managing that infrastructure. And we're going to sit down and do quarterly or more regularly reviews with you to make sure that we're always aligned so that if your business priorities change, we're on the hook too. So. Right. so in July, you're also unveiling Planet Alpha. So why don't you elaborate on that a little sure. bit? Sure. So we have a long history in supporting the self-managed hosting market, and that really is what the planet has been known for. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue to focus on that market, and we're going to do it by uh, really continuing to uh, service their key needs, whether it be you know broad set of servers from mm -hmm. a leading provider, fast provisioning time, self-management capabilities. In order to do that and communicate with them in the way they expect, we've launched really the Planet Alpha dedicated servers line, right? right? And this is, again, what you've kind of always known and loved from the planet. Right. And so really with our July launch, what we actually will be providing is not just the fully managed offering, which is really what this team is about, mm -hmm. but really the ability to sort of uh, tease out advanced services as you need fit, whether they be for very large and complex environments or whether they be for small, you know, single or two server environments. Um, at the same time, we recognize that there are other customers out there that have different needs in terms of how they want to be communicated with, what their offerings are, what their expectations are, and that's really what the North Star piece is. So c coincident with the Planet Alpha launch, we, um, you know, at the same time we'll be launching you know, a new set of ready-to-go servers, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be launching a new set um, of capability in our advanced virtual rack offering to include gigabit networking and advanced VPN services, mm -hmm. um, and we'll continue to take that heritage and extend on that so that for customers that just really want self-managed infrastructure, large and small, Planet Alpha is the place that we'll Fantastic, that. and and the new offering obviously brings upon a new website as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So again, it goes back to that same point I was making earlier: is that you know different buyers have different needs in terms of what they expect to see, right. and so we didn't want to sort of again go back to a lowest common denominator, trying to serve both with a single website. Right. So we really clearly partitioned off what we're doing with the Planet Alpha, focusing on dedicated hosting buyers and self-managed buyers and what they need, mm -hmm. and the North Star side for again for people that want that fully managed experience. You know what? I'd be curious to find out a little more about um, the choice behind the branding, North Star and Alpha? Sure. I mean, you know, Alpha is certainly, you know, kind of where we came from. Right. You know, <laughs> and, and I think, you know, it's sort of the first letter of the alphabet, so to speak, and, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be the heritage that will continue to, you know, be the foundation for a lot of what we do. Right. right? Um, and then similarly on the North Star, you know, it's really about providing sort of a guiding direction for our customers, right? right. Helping them understand, taking our expertise so that they don't have to build it themselves. Well, Irvish, thanks for taking the time to teach me a little more about uh, the planet's new offering. Well, thank you so much. <laughs>